Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Zipski, your host. Today I'll be showing you how to convert this insect zapper and convert that into a fluorescent light bulb wand, portable one, like this one. Alright, so let's get started. I'll show you how to make one. The first thing you need is the uh, insect zapper device. Uh, we just need the handle, this is where the circuit is. The head, the metal mesh, we're going to put that away, we're going to use it for other project. You also need a uh, fluorescent light bulb. Now notice there is no circuit, I removed that. Okay. So if you have a uh, uh, compact light bulb that doesn't have the circuit, it's broken, you can use that. We're going to disassemble the uh, uh, insect zapper now. So there is a circuit here. Okay, I'm going to put this blue wire and then place it between these two um, solder. Okay, you can see it's marked uh, blue and there. This red uh, wire will remain there. We're going to move this blue wire here. Alright, just solder that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the um, uh, solder, I'll put it all together for you, okay? Now, you can also use a camera circuit as well, The um, those flash camera, you know, disposable flash camera. I'll show you later on how to go about doing that. But the disposable camera costs about three bucks. This um, zapper cost me only two bucks, so I'm going with this cheaper circuit. Okay, so for two dollars, you can make your own compact lessened, uh light system. Okay, so let me just put join them together. Okay, press the on button, and you now if you can see that light bulb. There we go. Let's turn off the light. Yeah, and turn it on. Okay, so you can see it worked. Let's show you. Looks pretty good. Wow, it's pretty bright. There we go. So let's uh, desolder the blue wire. Wire. There we go. Okay. Let me wire this. There we go. As you can see, I rewired it. So moving from this position, it was on the capacitor now. I'm going to move it to this one here. Okay, so you have red and blue. The blue has been moved. Right, it was originally there. It's now moved to there. Okay, now, what we want to, is to test it out. Okay, so we solder it in. Oops, Let's see there. Okay. Okay, so far so good. I wired it, and there we go. What I need to do is hot glue it so that it will, you know, stay more uh, stable, right? We're gonna put like something like that. So here it is, a compact. 
uh, fluorescent light using a insect zapper uh, circuit. So the one thing I like about this device uh, using the insect zapper is that it's actually um, already contained in like a, with a handle. So the circuit rewiring is quite easy compared to um, using the disposable camera circuit. I find that a little bit harder to do and uh, it's not always stable. So from now on to make a compact fluorescent light portable one like this one it's better to go with the insect zapper circuit. Okay so let's hot glue this device. Let's take this out first. I don't want to get shock here. There it is. Okay, let's put in the battery. There we go. Ta da! Cool! This is amazing. <laughs> wow. Okay, what you also might want to make it look more pleasing is maybe wrap a uh, black tape. This is already black. Um, and, you know, this um, uh, hot glue looks pretty ugly on, uh, on the edges. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this black tape and wrap around the uh, bottom of the fluorescent light to cover the um, the hot glue and some of these thing here that's kind of visible looks kind of ugly what we're going to do is just use a insulated black tape so what I'm going to do is kind of wrap around it like this okay and also it's to secure it because you don't know you know hot glue is strong enough so what we're going to do is just wrap around it looks much nicer there we go